There's a whole universe of possibilities with harmonics in the double bass. William, it finally stopped raining, honey. We gotta go up for a walk. <laughs> I got this really cool book from Kyle Modell, who's been on the podcast before. He was one of Mark Dresser's students down in San Diego and is truly an expert on double bass harmonics, particularly pizzicato harmonics, uh, but all harmonics. And I started to dig into this book and I realized this is like the greatest thing since sliced bread uh, in terms of opening up new possibilities on the bass. And it's got all these really, really clear examples of natural harmonics and then artificial harmonics, but not in the way you might think. Harp harmonics much more, so we're gonna dig into that. And there's a link in the description where you can pick up a physical copy only right now of this book. William is bored again, by the way, so if you hear squeaking, that's what it is. Are you gonna be squeaking on Dada's video again today? It has been so cool to dig into this book by Kyle, another member of the F. Clef Mafia. This is from my friend Michael Kurth in the Atlanta Symphony. Bells Plucked from Air, a guide to mostly pizzicato harmonic techniques for the double bass. Nobody's written about this. There's no pedagogy around specifically the pizzicato false harmonics, but about pizzicato harmonics in general. So then I started writing this thing. But then I, I realized that like, I kept seeing all of this confusion from both like composers and bass players and everyone about just like how harmonics work in general and like what it, what is going on. So then I kind of created like a first chapter that explains the basics. I love the clarity with which this is broken down. So this harmonics overview, he's got the second partial, he's got the third partial, the fifth partial, the fourth partial. First of all, you got your fundamental right here. Then the second partial, this note divides the string into two equal parts. Then you got the third partial and you can divide it here or here. So you got three equal parts now. The fourth, we have one here over C, and then way up here over that G, and then we have this one that that's two fourths, so you divide into fourths, but that's the same obviously as the as the second partial. And explains all of these, and then where to locate the harmonics in the bass, how to locate them, different areas, and why you might want to use them. And here we've got. Um, so a mixolydian scale. Cool thing is you can play these down here as well. Now that way opens up some possibilities that the upper one is just a little more challenging for you get out of the sticky rosin area here. It also allows you to play some closed notes while you're playing these, which opens up possibilities later down the line. Now these aren't the ideal strings for this kind of playing. These are Dodero Kaplan's uh, great strings, but my playing again, arco forward, we could say. So I am going for a little bit more dampening in the strings than the Dodero Zyax that Kyle uses. First, I have like basic diagrams that show like divisions of a string and like, here's how harmonic modes work and then explanations and then sent deviations from 12 tone equal temperament up through the 19th partial, I think I did. And I talk a bit about how I think about all of this stuff. So this chart totally rocks. I love this thing. Flip it this way too. And all these practical exercises for learning these uh, locations and then playing over the different nodes within the artificial harmonics. It is one of those things that kind of makes your head explode when you're trying to wrap your brain around it. But uh, it's it, it makes a lot of sense once you start to do it. And just getting your hands on the bass and practically doing these things, it becomes way more intuitive than you might think just seeing it theoretically described here. These pizzicato artificial harmonics are wild. You can play a four octave F major scale in one position. And that seems totally insane at first, but it actually works great. So you start down here. Now we're going to start to play at the second partial using these harp harmonics. And that's where you put your thumb down and you pluck with another finger. 
really cool technique. So you start again. Now, and now, I'm just fingering what's indicated in the lower line and then plucking at the corresponding place. Harp harmonic style. And you can really get a powerful resonant sound this way. Now you go to the third partial. It takes a moment for my brain to kind of understand where I'm supposed to be. But then I find it. I like mentioned to someone that like, yeah, like there's this way like you can play the 21st partial of whatever string. Uh, and then, you know, I get a piece where they're asking me to play these lines that are, you know, like 18, 19, 20. I'm just like, man, do you know how hard that is? <laughs> um, you know, like in theory it's doable, but you're probably going to get a lot of misses, even if someone practices this a lot. And then you can do an F major scale using the third partial. So if we got B flat there, if we go up and we find an F, whoa, mind blown. Uh, hand dexterity, so you can practice like, like getting di more fingers going. And I, I feel like I'm playing bass with the other hand, trying to <laughs> trying to understand this. Uh, it's just it's out of my wheelhouse, but I love it. It's super cool. This stuff gives you a frame or a reference point and then like what is it about it that moves you totally. and is interesting and how and it like get to the meat of what like what's there in the way that like you can use i have some actual musical examples in here different pieces double stops studies multiphonics Two-handed harp harmonics, I love this technique, and even more original music. That's a look at Kyle Modell's amazing harmonic book. Check out this great artist in the description below, and check out what we've got linked up here for more on harmonics.